Welcome back. Dr. Jana Cavandi is the director of NASA Glenn's Research Center right here in Cleveland. She's also an astronaut. And Betsy sat down with her and what a STEM career she's had. She's so fun to talk to. <laughs> wow. Just a genuine person. And I have to tell you, from the time that she sat down on the back porch with her dad, looking up at the stars, to flying on three shuttle missions, now she's leading NASA Glenn into the next generation of space flight. When I was little, I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> I never thought that I couldn't do it. It's more of the mental fortitude that you can do this, you can get through this, you just can't give up. And then uh, just before I um, went back to school for my PhD, I started applying to the astronaut program. Uh, knowing that I wasn't qualified yet, but that I was working on it. It's kind of like, if you don't try it, it, you can't ever become it. It worked out pretty well it for you. It worked out. I can't <laughs> believe it still. <laughs> What's it like to go up in a shuttle? Oh, it was, it was really a dream come true. You know, when you're sitting there on the pad and you're sitting like this and you're looking up at the sky and you're going, I cannot believe I'm here. And then the engine's light and you feel the vibration and then, and then the lift off and you're like, oh, I can't. I'm actually going to space. This is what I've been waiting for my whole life, and, and here we go. I remember the tears coming down, and they, you know, because they went right into my ears, and I thought that was <laughs> so <laughs> weird. But it wasn't because I was afraid. It was just like I couldn't believe it was actually happening. What would you tell young girls pursuing careers or dreams in STEM? I think it's very important for them to continue to believe that they can. Don't get overwhelmed by everything. You can do it. Just don't give up. I have to admit, I was totally fangirling while I was talking to her. Now, Dr. Cavandi's goal now is at NASA, of course, Glenn, and that's to get the vehicles that they're currently working on launched into space. Now, that should start happening late next year or early in 2020. Another project being done right here in Cleveland involves building a platform that will be put near the moon, and from there, we can go to Mars. So it becomes kind of an inter intermediate point. Yeah. And I have to tell you, I met her when I got to go out to Jefferson City, Missouri for the oh, total yeah, eclipse. Right, sure. And it was so fun to watch her because, you know, we're all kind of geeking out and getting very excited. And she's a little bit subdued and talking about, you know, the astrophysics and whatnot. And then that total eclipse happened. She's like, yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> Just to kind of that break story it down. about being on the on the yeah. launch pad. Wow. Three times. I would have tears coming down too for a different reason. <laughs> totally. Let me off. I would be all This over is going that. too far. Go faster. <laughs> Let's do this. Light this candle. Isn't that what somebody famous yes. said? Yes.